evening to all of you. A 15-year-old boy went into cardiac arrest and collapsed this evening during a JV basketball game at school number 33 in Rochester. But tonight he's alive, we're told, because of an AED. Jatyra Marsh is covering this story for us and joins us in the studio with more. Jatyra. Teresa, Adam, from what we're being told by the principal at school number 33, this could have ended very differently had a school resource officer not acted quickly and used an AED on the boy. It was right around 530. First responders got the call. A basketball player down on the court here at school number 33. Firefighters, police and AMR EMTs responded, but we're told when they got there, a school resource officer in the building had already determined the boy was in cardiac arrest and had used an AED on him. Witnesses say that SRO then performed CPR until the ambulance got there and took him to the hospital. Corey Yules is a clinical education manager with AMR in Rochester and says this incident shows just how important it is to have an AED nearby, especially at sporting events, along with someone trained to use it. So in the cardiac arrest chain of survival, um, AED is one of the earliest links because um, the sooner you can get a defibrillator to the person who is having an event and apply and shock, um, the sooner you can get their heart back to normal. So if you see somebody collapse in front of you, uh, you can go up and check on them. Um, if they don't wake up right away, you can start CPR and ask for somebody else to go get an AED. We're told the boy is expected to be okay. After all this happened, both the JV game and the varsity game that was scheduled to follow were canceled. Back to you at the desk. All right, Jatyra, thank you. This year, heart emergencies impacted a pair of high-profile athletes, the Bills safety, Damar Hamlin, and Bronny James, the son of NBA champion LeBron James. These incidents have highlighted the importance of AEDs and CPR training. And just last month, Governor Kathy Hochul signed a new law requiring a plan for AEDs at camps and youth sports programs. It's already a law in New York to have an AED at public schools.